Alexandra Abramova is with you, and the next edition of the Sport Life program is on the air. Hello. Let's start traditionally with the most high-profile news from the world of mixed martial arts over the past week. On the night of August 20th till 21st, another UFC 278 tournament took place, the main event of which was a rematch between Leon Edwards and the ex-champion of the organization Kamaru Usman. The Nigerian nightmare got the second defeat in his career and lost the title. Leon Edwards started his career back in 2011, and three years later, with a record of eight wins with one defeat, he unsuccessfully made his debut at the UFC, losing to Claudia Silva at the 56th fight night of the American promotion. After that, the outlet closed his defeat twice in less than a year, until he met Kamaru Usman in December of the 15th year, where he lost to his opponent once again. Since then, the athlete has led a seven-year winning streak. On August 20, the athlete had to meet with another fighter who brought him the third defeat in his career. At the same time, Kamar Usman himself is a very dangerous opponent. All the way to the rematch with Edwards, he lost only once, as part of his second entry into the professional octagon in May of the 13th year. By the time of the meeting with Leon, Usman was leading a series of 22 successful fights. However, unfortunately for the Nigerian nightmare, Leon turned out to be 100% ready for a new meeting. The fight lasted almost five full rounds, and the outcome of the fight was decided by Edwards' kick to the Usman's hat at the fourth second of the final minute of the fight. Leon's victory robbed Kamaru of the UFC welterweight title. However, fans supported the athlete with a $20,000 audience award, and Usman himself tweeted the following, Sometimes champions fail, but we come back to the revenge. Who knows, maybe in the nearest future we will see their third meeting. In any case, such a variant of the outcome of the events is being discussed quite actively on the web. Meanwhile, we continue to talk about the card of the upcoming 55th anniversary event, which, like the 50th tournament, will be held at the Great Moscow Circus on Vernaski Avenue on September 2nd. And let's start with the title fight for the bronze belt of the winner of our promotion, which will be for Bakhtamar Yunusov. He will enter the octagon against a more experienced opponent, the white tiger Magomed Kadyev. Bakhtavar Dominator Yunusov is a vivid example of how the MMA series has become a springboard for the growth of a fighter without a professional record. The Tajik athlete began his career with a win at the ninth tournament of the series in July 20th. And since then, he has managed to win six more victories without losing a single fight. At the same time, the athlete performed outside of the promotion only once and also successfully. In June last year, Artem Lukyanov was defeated by a technical knockout at the third minute of the second round in the framework of the Brave CF organization. The Atlas' last appearance in the Octagon took place at the 50th anniversary event where Dominator won the sixth victory in the series in the final against Sadiq Ulurus Kildi. After that, Paktavar had the opportunity to compete for his first title, the bronze battle of the winner of the MMA series in the Bantamweight category. And his new opponent will be the more experienced white tiger Magomed Kadyev, who made his debut on our side with a victory over Fuad Misal with a chokehold in the second minute of the opening round at the 53rd tournament of the series. Representing the Agag club, Magomed has nine successful fights and two defeats in his arsenal and will become the most dangerous opponent for the dominator at the moment. Muram Atlas, Sergei Babrushev and Sergei Diaganov, as we told in the last program, will have to compete for their silver bars. The Atlas have already completed their training and told us about the training camp. But we will start with their rivals. The new opponent of Muram McGregor will be the athlete from East Trazea Sadali, in whose tail is choking opponents before reaching the middle of the first round. The statistics of Zaya's performances are as follows. 57% of the Atlas victories come from submissions, 29 from judges' decisions, and 14 from knockouts. While for Barbershop, on the contrary, knockouts are the most characteristic, 58%. 25 are the decisions and only 17 of submissions. Thus, we can safely expect an interesting duel in which two opposites will meet. Each of them can move a full distance, but the preferences of the fighters are still different. The head coach of the Mullet Fight Club, Sergei Diakonov, will fight a foreign opponent once again. This time, he will have to share the cage with Egyptian Mahmoud Afia, who has already performed in our promotion a year ago. Then the Egyptian performed the Russia for the first time and was knocked out by Zawar Jababayev in the first round. However, upon returning to his homeland, Mahmoud worked out his defeat twice, adding two knockouts victories in his account. It is worth noting that until recently, Afia preferred to end fights mostly with chokes. 
probably based on this fact that current opponent of the Egyptian, Sergei Dyakonov, preferred to focus his work exclusively on wrestling as part of the preparatory training camps. The Moron Fighters held a training camp in Spas Kruzan in the Ipatikala Ride Club. Arton Kazbanov, the master of sports in MMA and also the director and the head coach of the Arta Club, and Roman Ramashkin, the master of sports in freestyle wrestling, were chosen as the leaders of the training. And the main sparring partners of Mola Diakonov were Viktor Kluyev, who debuted in the 53rd event of the series, as well as Vyacheslav Skotnikov. Diakonov devoted most of the training to sparring with highways and working in the stalls. We will find out what form Sergei approached an important fight in his career and what he will be able to oppose to the Egyptian fighter very soon. Mkhtebek Askambayev is waiting for the first defense of the winner's gold belt in the history of the MMA series. Having made his debut in our promotion, the athlete snatched victory from the extremely dangerous knockouter Yakov Ikimov. Now he has to show his chance in battle with a Brazilian whose record is three times higher than pro count of Muku. The name of this Brazilian is Gustavo Erak, and the athlete has 23 victories with 6 defeats. Gustavo is the 50th number of Brazil among the representatives of the lightest weight category according to topology. Both fighters, Escambayev and Erak, are pronounced knockouters, and 15% of fights at least won by blows. However, their stamina is enough for full pre-round duels, as the statistics show. Interestingly, the most frequent cases of defense of both Atlas fall precisely on the decision of the judges. Therefore, on September 2nd, we can expect an early end of the match. And if in the case of Muku, the last few battles ended 1-1 one one lock and loss, then the Brazilian led a winning streak of four fights before losing to Vladimir Yugayan at the AMC Fight Nights in February last year, which resulted in a hand injury. This was followed by another unsuccessful exit in September, where Eric lost by a decision of the judges following the results of three full rounds to Gogesha Matawa within the same promotion. The performance at the 55th tournament of the series will be the Brazilian's debut on our side. However, back in 19, Gustavo, as part of the main event of the evening of Future FC3 held in São Paulo, Brazil, met with a well known to the viewers of the MMA series, Vanderlei Mexicano Jr., from whom he won three full rounds. At the moment, Eric has not had time to work out two latest defeats, so on the September 2nd, he will make every effort to return to the winning path. We wish Mkhtebek good luck in defending his title. A couple of rivals has also been determined in another significant duel of the upcoming event. The owner of the temporary bronze battle of the winner of the MMA series, Zawurka Jababai from Azerbaijan, will fight with the Iranian fighter Masud Safari for the silver title. This duel will be another meeting of opposites at the upcoming event. Masud has not performed on our side yet, but we know for sure that he is an extremely hardy athlete, ready to fight three full rounds. More than 70% of his victories are due to persistent and successful work in the stalls, while Zohar prefers to knock out opponents in the first or at least the second round. According to Shirt Dog, Hajibabayev has more than 70% of KO and TKO wins in his account. He also has successful three round duels, but for the statistics of the defeats, two out of three did fall on the decision of the judges. If an Azerbaijani athlete does not have chance to knock out an opponent at the usual time, then in the future the situation becomes dangerous, because the chances of winning are reduced to 50-50. And to hold out the fight as long as possible is already the goal of the Iranian, because he is extremely strong in the stalls. We will look forward for this fight with interest and see who gets the silver butt of the winner of the MMA series. And this was the Sport Life program and its presenter Alexandra Abramova. Follow the news of the series on the website and on social networks. Have time to buy tickets to the Grand 55th tournament to see the Vivid Bouts live and watch the TV channel MMA-TV.com especially every Thursday.